So next up, we're gonna uh, try to do the full scissor. And again, I just wanna explain the scissor. When the people say scissor, it's more like scissor, how you doing when you cut and scissor. But in, in reality, that's not what you actually do. When you're doing the swing, all you need to do, just turn your toe out and then it's going right in front of you. When Curtis is gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna try to show uh, kind of in, in, in a slow mo motion what's ne ne need to be done. And your front leg, it's not going back. You, you're just turning your uh, toe and opening the hips and the leg is just going over here. So your legs have to be as close as possible to the body of the horse. Further they going, then they have to return. That's when the, the kids start getting hit the pommel horse. Okay? Yeah. You, you, you just get put this leg in front. Okay? So what's happening when, when you come in here, you're focusing on your toe. You cannot turn it in. You have to open it here and let go. And front leg is going here and he opening hips, opening more hips and then opening the toe. And then he, he, he's doing, okay? And then it's happening the same way. We're going here, here, hips, he opening toe, moving this leg over there, turn it and hips forward and going. You see the, the legs is not going too much forward and too, too much back. They stay as close as possible to the pommel horse. And now Curtis is gonna show us an actual scissor. Open up, open up, open up. Okay, yeah, we go, yeah, we go. Okay, so now he's getting the, the rhythm. If you saw in the beginning, first couple ones was for him a little bit struggle because he was doing it and his hips was a little bit b b behind. So th that's why after the scissor, he was more hitting the pommel horse. 